All right. Let us begin with the next part of this dungeon, the Ancient Cistern. Otherwise known as the best dungeon in this game, and in all Zelda games. I will most likely repeat this more than once. It bears repeating. Oh, I have to get the Meeple out, so I will do that right now. All right. So last we left off, it was going into the temple. Let me just do this real first, real quick. If you play the harp in certain spots where there are butterflies, you get a gossip stone. And he gave me a talon. I suppose that will work. And now we are ready. I played around with the mic settings a little bit, so... Hoping it's good. I'll bring it just a smidge closer. Oh, the best dungeon. The Ancient Cistern. And as we explore this dungeon, I will give you tidbits on this dungeon. There is actually a lot of interesting stuff that it's based upon. Come on. There we go. Hey, you gotta be careful. They will, uh... I will close upon you if you are not... quick enough. Ah. Here we go. <laughs> it helps if you know where you're going and swimming in the right place. Okay, I gotta get up there. Get rid of that. And that one. And you two. You two. Why not? Did some stuff off stream. Just grabbed a few goddess cubes and treasures. Nothing really. Nothing really, like, important to grab. Alright, let me just check real quick. Wait, does it change every single time? I don't think it does. I think we'll be fine. There's a puzzle element to this, but I think it should be okay. Uh-oh. Get up there. Done. There we go. Now 
Okay, this is a puzzle. Just Okay, it is good. If you swim around where that little part was in the beginning, and you look at the... You look at some of the paintings and it'll give you the... Oh! Hello. It'll give you the... Clues to, uh... I don't know if it's because I'm still sitting way too close to the... Okay. There we go. Oh, I still haven't even, I haven't even upgraded this yet. But eventually. Can you grab the... Thank you. There you go. Okay. Oh, this is actually... The... Whoa, 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 way it came. You all right? Camera did not like that. Yeah, forget if this one had free camera. I don't think it did actually. So yeah, it makes sense if it <laughs> had a little bit of issues, just uh And this should be a key, if I'm correct and assuming. All right. Wait. Ignoring you. Nowhere to go. We're gonna do this quick. I'm now realizing that if I do a Zelda, if I do a Skyward Sword stream every single time that I stream with my schedule, I will have just barely made it before Tears of the Kingdom. So if I do these quick, I can get through some of the stuff quicker, some of the later uh, like chapters, if you will, just like sections of the game. Oh, a flower. Now oh, looks like that's where we gotta go. I'm going down here first. Exactly at the center of the TV from here. But that one works. <laughs> hey, it's a Mogus. 
Neat. Attached to the end of the whip is a strange glowing sphere of light that can latch onto various things. If you see something you can't reach, target it and snag it. I want this as something from a cosplay. I have to find somebody that can actually make that for me. And that's how it works. Whee! That goes all the way up there, but we can't do anything right there for now. But just for later. I think for, well, for me anyways, this was, I think the first and the only time that I've enjoyed a water-based dungeon in a Zelda game. Actually, no, it, it was the first time I actually found myself enjoying a water-based dungeon. Because it's actually very intuitive, and it's actually a really nice dungeon to try. I mean, we all know the water temple. Ah, the flame is right located there. Hmm, how do I get over there? How do I get over here? Interesting. Okay. Okay, I gotta... Can I climb up these? I can. Flip! <laughs> yeah, water dungeon that we all know in Ocarina. Not the best. By any metric, e even with a walkthrough, it's it's just come. The, the remake helps, but it's it's just still, you know, the water temple, Great Bay. If you know what you're doing, it's not the worst, but could be better. But then this one came along and was actually really good. Like, even though it has an irregular structure. It's just fun to navigate. The aesthetic and the lore behind this dungeon also makes it really enjoyable. No, oh. Well. Okay. Darn it, I have no way of getting there. Okay, let's just...
Huh. Wait, how am I supposed to... Oh, I see. Okay, good. I was about to say, like, that doesn't make sense. I mean... It does make sense, but I was wondering if I had to do some weird loop. Whip is still finicky in this game, in this version too. Hmm. Very well. Well, let's go in. This place seems a little, um... A little dark. A little nefarious. Oh, spiders can't swim. Okay, so locked door. Hmm, I think that guy has a key. You can take stuff off of him. Or you do like that. It's like in Wind Waker when you had the, uh... What do they call it? Um... It was that rope and claw thing. Oh, I found the boss key, but I see bones. Okay. Guess we're done here. Oh, never. I didn't have a choice in that. <laughs> Just checking some stuff, okay. Hmm, I see that there's something down there. That was close enough to just run up and grab that one. I'll see right there, and there's a shape. Alright. Oh, Link, don't dive into the pedal. It's not like concrete or anything, but still, that's, that's gonna get hurt. Also, three hits? I'm pretty sure they took two. Okay, I see. There we go. Okay. All right. I better make sure I get down there. Oh. Yeah, let's just make our way. Good form, Link. Oh. Nine and a half out of ten. Wrong. 
excuse me while I learn how to navigate these controllers. Okay. And now, allow me to fix you. Now that one I can't reach, running up, but I can grab it that way. Hey, Dagger, welcome in. We're just getting through the rest of uh, Skyward. All right, come on, bird. I don't have time to deal with you, but I know you're going to be a nuisance if I don't get rid of you now, so... Hmm, you don't give anything good? Yeah. Okay, I have to go down. Okay, right there. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh. A walkthrough online goes by chapters. I have a good amount of chapters left, but... If I just... do a Zelda stream every time I stream, I'll be fine. Shortcut. Do I want to go get that? I think I do. I mean, this dungeon right now, we're actually doing really quickly. There's like just one part where it's... It was definitely padding. <laughs> they definitely decided to just like, hey, let's just... Let's just pad the gameplay a little bit, because we need something to, uh... To make it feel longer. I mean, even that will be a stream in and of itself. Luckily, I know this temple really well, and it's not that hard to navigate, so... I think I might be able to do two, two dungeons in this one. If I can, that's great. Excuse you? There we go. What is the love padded gameplay? I'm reminded of Wind Waker, the original, with the, uh... Actually, I shouldn't criticize because I occasionally don't mind padding or grindy gameplay, just... I mean, I don't mind it either, if it isn't too cumbersome, but it's definitely one of those things where you could you could feel it was just like, I mean, I, they need some ways to incorporate more, which is fine, I guess, but... We didn't, like, it's just... You don't really need it. Okay. Like, if they had padded out with something interesting, sure. I do like one segment of it, actually. That's for later. Now we're here. It is hell. Zombies. They don't like the holy shield. They will not die unless you stab them this way.
That's the reason I've created the Legata Shield. It is a holy relic that they turn away from. Tell me, Tiger, do you know of the lore of this dungeon? Evil Crystal. This dungeon is actually based off of a Buddhist story. A gemstone shines deep within the, the eye. Strike it to shut the mouth. Whoa. Is in here. Hmm, surprise there are blessed butterflies down here. This is not really a holy place. Oh, it can be, just. Okay. Why do they give me a bomb here? Hmm. Yeah, from, uh, from what I've read in videos I've seen, that's why. So according to Buddhist, uh, I don't see mythology, because Buddhism isn't a religion like that, it's a philosophy. Or I guess it's like Buddhist stories. This represents the underworld in Buddhist culture. Hence why we see the book albums that are undead and just... No matter how much I strike them, they won't stay down unless I, like, do a finishing blow. And here is a good example of uh, rotating about your axis and having a moment of inertia. There's a cylinder, so it should be one half MR squared, I think. If it's, yeah, it's through the axis that it's rotating, so it should be. I've been helping my student now with physics, and we're on a, we're on a rotation of motion, so. I see it. rotational motion. The entire rotating thing has the same angular speed because everything is rotating the same distance or the same arc length. However, 
Notice that near the center, you don't, it doesn't seem to be rotating quickly, whereas at the edge, it's rotating really fast. That is tangential motion, while your angular motion will be the same for any point on this little round surface, the tangential speed, you're going to feel more at the end. There he goes. And there's actually a really cool video of a, a Mexican fair. <laughs> In which there's a nun in the center, and she's dancing from the horror movie series, The Nun. And then there's a jigsaw near the edge, just like spinning around. Hold on, Rubens. Oh, I was just mentioning that, uh... Well, this dungeon in particular is also based off a of Buddhist story. Right now we are in the... The underworld, I want to say? I, I don't know what they call it in, in Buddhist teachings, but I will be able to... Oh, here it is. So apparently there's a story of the man and the spider's thread. So the tale goes, from what I was reading, is that Buddha was walking through a garden one day, and in a puddle, he was able to see into the underworld. And he saw that there was a man that was trying to escape the underworld, and he sees Buddha. I'm kind of paraphrasing because it's been a while, but he's, he sees Buddha and he says, Buddha, please help me. I, I mean, I, I'm stuck down here. I, I feel like I have. I feel like I have. I have not done that much wrong. So the Buddha, I guess, looks into his life. And the Buddha sees, well, you have made some mistakes in your life. However, there was one moment where you saw a spider and you did not step on it, you showed it mercy. So, what I will do, is I will descend one spider thread down to the bottom. If you can climb up the thread, you will be free. And so, like, Buddha pulls down a spider thread, just one, and he brings it down. So the man goes to it and starts climbing. However, other people that are also wanting to escape try grabbing on because they see a way out and instead of focusing on climbing the man keeps trying to fight them off and saying no like this is my threat like I will not let you guys bring me down here however in not focusing on the people or not focusing on climbing the threat snaps and he falls back down and the Buddha says well it is a shame. I tried to help you and I could not, and he continues on his journey. Return the stone giant to its original form and descend below the earth again along the thread. There you will find the key to the path ahead. Shortcut. Like the whole thing is, this whole thing is based on Buddhist culture. Well, culture or philosophy? I, I never know exactly. Because I know Buddha, Buddha, Buddhism is a philosophy, not necessarily a religion in that sense. But I don't know how to refer to it. Uh... <laughs> Suddenly fell. No worry. Okay. Okay, I have to go back and... Get the statue... Or get the dungeon to move back up. I really like the story, and I'm amazed at how they were able to incorporate it. Am I supposed to go there? Or am I supposed to go up there? I figure which way it is. So 
step on the platform that extends, and then whip the lever up. Oh, I see, this one. Is it not you? There we go. I mean, even with the statue head that pops up, like, it, it's all very much... Buddhist culture. Cool. Well... Takes influence from that, yes. Not only did I, did I go over physics, I went over some cultural stuff, too. Note I'm not necessarily <laughs> an expert on Buddhism philosophy. Told me, go back to the to the thread. Oh, luckily. Luckily, this whole dungeon has been really quick. I've actually been really good at uh, traversing it. And there we go. I don't need that, but I'll grab it. The Blessed Idol. This carved wooden statue looks like it's supposed to inspire gratitude. It also looks like the stone statue on the open floor. floor. Listen, as much as I want Buddha to sit on me, I got places to be. You could fight those bokoblins, or zomblins, whatever they're called. You don't need to. This is by far the easiest. Yeah, you just flip. And also notice that Link started from the absolute bottom. And as arisen to the top and found enlightenment. Through my action and through my courage, I find the enlightenment as I rise up and the Buddha is helping me with that enlightenment. Ah, this dungeon is amazing. It, it's my favorite in all of Zelda. Like, hands down. Like, this dungeon is S tier. I'm just saving just in case. And now I ascend to Nirvana. Come. As you are. 
Oh, here she is. This one. <sighs> you certainly are persistent. I'm terribly busy trying to find the clues that will help me revive the Demon King. Your incessant buzzing around my head is some like some irksome gadfly when I'm this busy as well. It's making me very disagreeable. Bye, Flop. This is also my favorite boss in an Azal the game. Ancient Automaton, Kalactus. Oh, this boss is amazing. I will take my I will take my time, but <laughs> we're on a timetable. Come on. Is this Buddha's final form? Yes, this is what happens when you don't reach Nirvana in time and he's like, okay, listen. I know I got a wonderful philosophy about, like, inner peace. <laughs> but sometimes, inner violence is needed. I just love the design of this boss, the dungeons, the aesthetic. Oh, it's just. Such a good boss. <laughs> as long as you grab one and you do a wall time swing, you can just you can just check one out. Oh. Oh no, he, he's he's mad now. He's doing the thing. So, how are you doing? We're just battling the best boss in all of Zelda. And it's not... What I'm saying is also not an unpopular opinion either. Like, everyone pretty much agrees this boss is just amazing. One. Come on. children laughing at the end. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> and
and we freed him from, you know, the evil grasp. If you have a chance to play this, I say play it. Hey bud, uh, no hard feelings? Like, I know you were controlled and everything, but... You know, I just had to, you know, conquer myself and... Be the trials before me. And I know you're a guard, but... No hard feelings, right? I'm taking your silence as a yes. Or, that, you, that you're good. Can I take a sword with me? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one. Yeah. He's not using it. No. no. I can't take it with me. I like my sword, it's just, you know... Doesn't hurt to have another. There's the flame. Hmm. What was she gonna do? Okay, she's taking the flames into herself. And now she's playing pinball. Raise your sword, master. Okay. Well, it, I was told to, like, imbue it with three sugar flames, so... <laughs> the flames of Furore have improved your sword, making it longer and sharp enough to do twice as much damage. Hey! And we got a nice little hilt too. <laughs> the mark. The sacred flame has purified your blade, enhancing it and evolving it. With your sword now enhanced, you are ready to learn a new melody. We should return to the Isle of Songs. Oh! Oh, hey! Ah, the sword you carry is different since I last saw you. Yes, I see it is much improved. To think, the goddess is chosen hero, but a mere boy. Quite a twist. Chosen here or not, you do not yet possess the strength required to wield the full power of that blade. Hey, a goddess cube's up there. You see it? You must train yourself further. Devote yourself wholly to this task. Farewell, boy. Okay, bye. I like Fi. She seems based. Yes, people don't like her for gameplay reasons. Game mechanic-wise, I can understand the frustrations. As a character, she's great. I don't know what people are, like, on about. Hold on. Gotcha. Okay, to the sky. I got a bunch of cubes off screen, so it, it was just money and like metals and stuff. So the goddess cubes at this point are just bonuses. Yeah. So like, there, there's some that I'll come across when I'm doing the main quest stuff, but there's some that I'll probably just skip and come back to. But it's, it's just money and 
medals to like get more treasure or get more rupees. It's nothing I necessarily need, like in the moment. I do have the metal, the ruby metal with me, so I can. Oh no! So that's how Dorothy fell. friendly. They could have put a few more of those little uh, rocks where you get a sudden boost in speed. They could have put a few more of those there. Or at least up let me upgrade my uh How many times I can do a little wing dash? Nope. No. <laughs> All right. Which means with a longer, with a longer sword, I can do a skyward strike from a farther distance. That's too long. I have important information. Yeah, see, like, going here would have been nice to, like, do it all at once. Or, like, you could just warp here. When you start the crest with a skyward strike from your sword, a message from the goddess awaken deep within my memory. Here's more interpretive dance. Or ballet. He who seeks the sacred flames, listen well, for I am the one guiding you from my place as the edge of time. Two sacred flames remain. Should you desire to possess them, you must obtain the other sacred gifts. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with another gift. Harness the power of these gifts, and let there be no doubt that you shall find yourself standing before the majesty of the sacred flames. Now I give you another melody. It will serve as a key to unlocking your next trial, which awaits within you in the shifting sands of the Nehru Desert. Huh, I don't have a volcano after this? Okay. I do like the music, and I wish I could play it like Ocarina, but it's automatic. <laughs> did, wait, did you guys see that pink one? Did anyone see it? It was stuck. It wasn't flapping its wings. It was just like, <laughs> it was just moving across the screen. <laughs> Frozen. That's never happened before. Game, are you all right? <laughs> Man, he got st he he's stuck in time. <laughs> it's called Nehru's wisdom. Somebody clip that, please. <laughs> Cause I, I I know that bird was just like. <laughs> Game, you drunk? <laughs> They're probably I mean, listen, they were probably recovering too from the weekend. I know where the I know where the gate is. I have never seen that before. <laughs> it was just like, like, I mean, the loft wings glide, but that one, its feathers weren't moving. It was, it was just static, and it's just like, oh, if I could isolate that, I will make that a. Actually, I don't know how I can make that an animated emote. Oh. All right. It's five p.m. somewhere. Yes, it is. Hey, quick. As you can see, we have gay rights here. 
Even in the ancient world of Skyward Sword, they still had gay rights. We're slacking. Okay, uh, next time I come here and I do a song. How was the judging? Really good. We had four people sign up. They were all pretty good. It was from what I... From the person who was tallying up the results, it was very close. But... I said we got ourselves a good, a good title holder. I was still gonna ask people if they uploaded pictures so I can post them on Instagram. I forgot, I, I took pictures of like... A few things, not everything. I gotta get a picture of uh, the judges and I with the new winner. A few things. It was mostly recording the... The step-down speech and then... Posting it like one Discord saying, hey, I'm doing this thing. Wait, no, what am I doing? Wrong way. No, wait. This is the right way. I have a ton of clothes I need to go through. Okay, nice. That's good. Actually, hold on, let me... There. Give you a shout out, Quakesaber. For those who are not aware, Quakesaber does cooking streams. He bakes stuff, does dessert stuff, plays games as well. Double weed. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Trying to figure out what to make for Star Wars. Day. Oh, that's right. Wait, doesn't Disney have like some like cookbook or something Star Wars related? Look at her. So when Link learns the song, he's actually playing it, but here he's just like, can make some blue ice cream with blue milk? Oh, that's right, I think uh, the bar is going to do something single demand related. One of the former title holders who's Mexican, for those who are, who are not aware. I think he's doing some tamales stuff. Oh, notice! In the spirit world, there was a broken wall behind me. I don't have any questions. I know what to do here. Hmm. Perhaps. I think I've already opened that. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, I forgot to test out a thing. Because I can buy stamina potions now. And I can upgrade them. But I'm wondering if I get a stamina potion and I drink it right before this, does it carry over since I am in the spirit world and my physical body is not present with me? Wait, yeah, that doesn't make sense. Hold on. I'm in the... i have separated from my body, so I'm in a spiritual plane, yet I have stamina still. Oh, I need one of these. Okay. 
From here I can see everything else. Okay, there's one over there, there's one over there, there's one over there. No! Oh, okay, good. Mental stamina? That thing my students test constantly? Could be, yes. Okay. Well, I'm over here now, so I might as well grab this one. Yeah, they only wake up if one of those little guys snitches on me, or I run out of time. Exhibit A. He narked. Okay. And a quicksand still sinks me? Come on, dude. No, that's right. Yeah. It's on a Friday. Hmm. I wonder if I have any things Star Wars related I can, like, do a quick little thing of. There. Okay, I can go around. There's one up there, there's one up there. Okay. Making good time. Yeah, I completely forgot about Star Wars Day and trying to get this done. <laughs> but I do have Star Wars games. These little buggers are gonna snitch on me. No, no. No, you guys can leave me alone. I'm letting them snitch. Because then they reset. Sealed. Hmm. Run away enough, they leave me alone. There's always Wookiee cookies. Wait, that's a thing? What are they made of? Aside from actual Wookiee. Are nachos racist? I don't think they are? I have to confer with the Mexican Council on that, but I think they're good. I need to play some Star Wars games. I have Jedi Fallen Order. I need to start it. Uh oh, Waking Water. They found a Yoda nacho thing. What does that green Muppet know about nachos? <laughs> Sadly, I'm out of Wookiees, so I'll just make cookie shaped black Wookiees. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty rare commodity to find these days. Okay, I think the last two are over there. Good. The little white fruits let me know where things are. And you can take that out of context if you must. Actually, I'm gonna go over there real quick. I'm a medium white fruit. Alright, you don't see me over here.
You don't see me over here. Okay. Now I can go over yonder. Alright. If you know where to go, it's easy. And I just happen to map it out perfectly. Damn, are you Drax? Because you're invisible. Yes. <laughs> Next time we could. Hmm. We got the claw shots. Crunch. I don't know what kind of fruit that was that I was given before it turned into weapons. Congratulations, you have completed the trial. You can now have the power to proceed the sacred flame that was entrusted to your sword and strong spirit. I can use those things. I've been wanting to get this for a while. Oh. Man, I got a bunch of those already. Oh, I have to go up there. Stone, I know you're here. I guess not. Okay, I need to go this way. The big boy. Need to elaborate. Just answer. Okay, these fellows are all over the place. for later up there. I think this one's particularly money. Our target is over there. Check this real quick. Anything? Nothing? <laughs> Fine, whatever. Haha, <laughs> 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 you're done.
The Lanayru Caves. Hey, it's another Goron. He's got a Mohawk? Is there a... There's one. Anytime Pedro Pascal comes on screen. They say that somewhere in this vast desert, there's a dragon who loves putting the abilities of those who visit him to some kind of test. If you can master the challenges he throws at you, you will be rewarded with a shield stronger than any other. Hmm. Okay, that sounds... promising. I should... I think I, I think that needs to be a sound command. I'm gonna look into it. No, oh, I almost can never get visitors. My name is Golo, and I'm researching the legend of the three dragons, one of which is said to live here. At first glance, it would seem that there is nothing in this area, but now I know there is something here. I will just keep on looking. So your name is Lung. I see. Not the easiest name to say, is it? How about you, Lung? Why are you here? You're looking for a sacred flame? That sounds like something I have heard of before, but maybe not. Sweet Goro, I remember now. I read something about an ancient scroll that spoke of the Lanayru Sansi. I do not remember all the details, but you can get to Lanayru Sansi if you go straight through here. Yeah, I don't have a key though. You know, if you want to get to the Lan Lanayru Sansi, you're going to need this key. Oh, thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Mind if I sit here and, and chat? So, you would not happen to be interested in excavating, would you? You are? Well, uh, you're gonna love this. The thing is, these research digs can be really expensive, but they can also be lucrative. Any interest in investing 10 rupees in my dig? Oh, that's it. Look at me supporting a local business. I'm an ally. Yeah, he'll, he'll be digging for a while, so... We won't be back for that until later. A report, Master. This is a Lene Rusansi. This whole area was once a vast ocean. But the water has evaporated, and now the area is a sea of sand. I was gonna say Northern California, but we got a ton of rain these past few months, so... Signs indicate that this place functioned as a port, linking the land to the sea. This area operated on a new form of power. There is a 90% probability that the Sacred Flame is located ahead. I recommend exploring the Sand Sea. Thank you, Fi. It might rain on Thursday. There was there was a little bit of a not not a shower here, but like like water was falling, but like not like rain. It was just it's like kind of like a mist. It wasn't sprinkling either. It was just there's a goddess cube here too. It's electric. Boogie woogie woogie. <gasps> oh no, I killed one. I'm gonna need these for potion infusing. I think we're done here. Yeah. Oh, poor little fella. Look at him, he's a little pirate robot. Hmm. Who are you? Some human? Who am I? 
I am the proud skipper of the ship that protects Nehru's flame. We Wait, Nehru's flame? I'm looking for that. Hmm. It was the day of the storm, Fuweep. My crew and I were navigating the sea as usual. And then those brutes. The pirates suddenly attacked us. They were fr they were after Nehru's flame. The crew was my crew was imprisoned, and I was thrown into the sea. I drifted on the current to this port. After that, I took this boat and went searching for my ship and crew, but they were no nowhere to be found. It haunts me, wondering where my ship could be. I bet my hat they've turned the ship invisible and are hiding, and are hiding out somewhere. You can't see it. Invisible? In order to protect Nehru's flame, the ship has a function that allows it to become invisible. You say you're searching for Nehru's flame? Oh, so you need Nehru's flame to find someone important to you. In that case, we should help. You, you should help me search for my ship and crew. I don't know. I couldn't read that. <laughs> if you help me, then I guess I'll let you on my boat. Sure. Really? In that case. Hmm, there's something weird about your map. If you're gonna navigate these treacherous waters, you need a proper sea chart. There's a sea chart in my shack at Sip Skipper's Retreat. So first you need to get on this boat and set a course for Skipper's Retreat. Shall we head off? Yes. I like this part of the game as well. Hmm, my circuit, my circuit sparked to life in this salt air. Feels good to take the seas again after so long, but let's see if I can remember how to navigate. I'll place a mark over where my ha my house is. There's a pier on the island where we can dock. All right, let's go. This part's really cool because like the time shift stone is in an area, so I will never. I will never run into sand. Ah, oh, it's so cool, look at it! Like, you just... You get to see what the place was like before. Oh, and if there are movie fans in chat, there may be something here that uh, you may find familiar. Skipper's Retreat. Hey, there's a cube there. We've arrived. How do you climb up there? You have no legs. No offense. My shack is at the very top. The sea chart we need is in my shack, but you'll be the one who will have to go. There are more monsters about that than before, so be careful. I can't far wa wander far away from the boat, so I'll just stay here. Wait, did they change it? Because this, this this one in particular, he says, "Oh, I can't, I can't move, I can't move away from my boat because of the time shift stone." So he's aware that the time shift zone is keeping him in a time, like in a time loop. So the other ones don't seem to be aware, but he he knows that he can't exist outside of it. I'm gonna use the amiibo because I have to upgrade my thing real quick. Yeah, but as far as I know. That little robot's the only one that's aware that the world around him has um, changed, and he's only kept alive by a time stone, which is kind of morbid. Joy-Con. Yeah. Hey. Okay, I'll upgrade this real quick. Scatter shot. Your shots will now pepper a wide range. 
I prefer salting a, wi a, a wide range. This really should have been integrated into the game, but it wasn't. You gotta buy this little thing. It's a nice designed amiibo, but, you know. This is the plant. Come on over here. Now I'm not dealing with him. Go! Oh. Well, his friends thought otherwise. Just to recenter my thing every now and then. What do you got? No! Listen, come with me. Your friend fell off. I'll keep you safe. Here's a big boy. I just grab that. Thank you. I'm right here. Might as well get the cube. The thing about climbing is that. When you pull up the hook shot, your stamina doesn't go out, go down, so you can take all the time you need. So yeah, I don't care about your flames. Hmm. No, come, come over here. Oh, whatever. Saw that. Yeah, if you don't see that, you fall. Yeah, I don't care.
There we go. <laughs> oh, you guys suck. Okay, we're here. I feel like there's something up here, though. I remember there being something up here. I could be wrong. No, there's just a bunch of cicadas. I said there was a chart here somewhere. Well, some of his crew is still here. Although well, I can't help them, they're they're pretty much stuck. Look at that. That's a massive crew. My master, look over there. Hey, yeah, look over there. I believe two robots were sharing a moment together up there. Oh, look at him. He's the king of the world. That is a ship containing a roost flame. There's a 90% chance that the synthetic life forms assembled here are the crew. This image would indicate that the ship's captain spent many happy days among his crew members. Well, she's making notes of, or she's making observations like that. Which one is Jack? Which one is Rose? I need to know. I think this is Rose. Wait, can anyone hear? Can anyone hear Celine Dion in the distance? I'm pretty sure I hear her. Yeah, it sucks you can't help out these little guys. Or can you? No, there's no time shift stone around here, so you just... They're stuck like that, which is kind of sad. You had a bunch of hats. I'll never let go, Jack. I just wonder who on, develop on the development team uh, recognized. Wait. You can jump off of here, but I'm wondering why... Oh, okay, I see it. I'm jumping off. right, because you can't... There is no ledge to grab there. You have the C-chart, now we can finally navigate properly. Anchors away. Hmm. 
Hmm, the shipyard is at this location. Let me make let me mark it for you with an X. The shipyard is where we used to build our ships. My ship was built there too. If you go to the shipyard, you might find some clues to the location of my ship. Alright, that's a tail. It's not really much of setting sail, because this is powered by machinery. ones of those two. They must have been the early progenitors of uh, the lava and the sand. The shipyard. Well, if you like Donkey Kong, you, you're gonna like this part. We've arrived. This is the island where we used to make our ships. You'll find the shipyard here as well as the town where the workers lived. Oh, this is a whole little port town. That building is a construction construction bay. But the entrance is closed. Looks like you can't get in. Each location on the island is linked to the others in a, via minecart. You might be able to get back. You might be able to get the back door of the construction bay if you can get around to the other side of it using a minecart. There's a minecart station over there. You should you should head to the station first. I'll wait here. <laughs> Guys, I'm just gonna... Never mind, no treasure for me. Hey! The station here was used by folks heading into the old mines. People still ride the mine carts all over the place, though. I'm probably supposed to tell you there's some safety information uh, about using the cards posted on the wall over there. Cart writing can be uh, dangerous at times, so I would suggest you give that a quick read. I've been here alone for, well, who knows how long. Years. But I get to ride these carts every day, so I never get bored of it. Yeah, well, OSHA can't stop me. Man, he's, he's eager. Obligatory Donkey Kong level included in the game.
Hmm. Okay, that's just to go back down, so I don't want to do that just yet. Well, that ruby metal is actually doing wonders. 10e1200. Oh, poor little guys. I wish I could get them onto the ship. I think I like to shimmy. Nintendo, if you're listening to the Universal Studios thing. Wait. Okay, this way. For Universal Studios. Make this uh, a ride. It would be the coolest, I think. Controller wasn't reading. Okay. You don't hear turning the controller like all the way around, like complete circle. Nope, nope, game. the shipyard construction bay. Well, it's empty. The ship isn't in here. With the passing of many years, this structure has filled with sand. I recommend looking for the sand in the sand for a clue that may direct you to the location. I don't think we're going to find anything. Wait, what is this? It's a boss! You know, the boss in the mining facility is now a mini boss. It's not a bad boss, it's just... This always happens. See you there. <laughs> Goodbye. Master, it will appear that the many years in this factory went unused. Monsters have moved in and built a nest. I now want to submit to the chance of finding a clue in the sand here as the ship location is extremely low. Huh? <laughs> 
So in other words, we wasted our time. I mean, they, I feel like they could have put like some little object in there to point us to the next part. Oh, they're still there. Hmm, so my ship wasn't there. And there's only one place left for us to look for clues. Ugh, this could be scary, but we have to head into the stronghold of the pirates who stole my ship. So let's not waste any time. Anchors away. This is pretty scary. The pirate ship captain is a mechanical maniac. He's got no shortage of evil underlings, too. Ugh, I never wanted to lay eyes on him again. If we take this ship back, then we have no choice. <laughs> Tighten up whatever you humans have and let's get going. Ooh. Pirates are all robots, too. Ooh, a goddess cube. I see it. Wait, has it always been there? Huh, this is easily as scary as I thought it would be. But if you think about it, they should all be dead. See, he's aware. He's aware that the time shift stone is keeping him alive. The only reason I'm up and about like this is because of that time shift stone on the boat. You see, like, yeah, he, he knows. It's so, like he's aware that the world around him has changed. So I have nothing to worry about. Huh, I feel better now, Lung. And it's time for you to go to look for my ship. I'll wait here, of course. It's kind of morbid as well, because... He's also aware that his crew is also... Without a time shift stone, they've, like, essentially... They're dead. Where's that switch? There's a switch out here to open this up. No, it's like that. I need 1200 rupees at minimum. Well, actually, yeah, I, I need exactly. I do like these extended regions because. You get to explore more. Especially this place benefits from it the most because you have the time shift stone stuff. Master, please take a look. This device looks like it was meant to hold the time shift stone, but there is no not one currently installed. There's a 95% chance that it is the same type of device as the one we encountered in the neighboring mine. Signs indicate that time shift stones were used in this facility as a kind of power source. No, let's get it. Let's go get it. something well the enemies have moved in let's say like wait why is it still going forgetting that those awfuls are there ah oh, here it is take a look this object is called a time shift orb. I conjecture that, unlike the time shift stones we've seen, this device was designed to be carried around and installed in different locations. Ah, 
like the colors. But I'm pretty sure as I progress through this area, things are gonna wake up. Like that. Just gonna ignore them, because they will eventually... Just farther enough, deactivates. <clears throat> Oof, my. Hey, I'll take those. I don't know the mechanics of, uh, these sinking over the years, but if someone could fill me in. I mean, I guess... Did we call it erosion? I don't really know. Oh, no, come on. There we go. Hmm. Do I want that? Yes, I do. Ah, uh, it's not going to be that easy, is it? It never is. Here, here, here. Here, you want that? Here. There you go. Wait, how did they get the chest there if it was covered by rocks? See? Life, death, life, death, life, death, life, death. Take care. Ah, I see. Oh. Okay, good. He didn't push the time shift zone. I'd be stuck otherwise. There we go. I'm just not dealing with the buffoonery. Hmm. Sounds like that. I see. Open that real quick. I have a ton of those little things. Oh, 
let me I actually wonder, because these are all mechanisms, what if only the mechanism activates for only one part of it since it's arranged on a time shift stone? Would that mean that, uh... Oh, jeez! Okay, that one worked. No. Oh. Got this thrusting motion. I'm usually good at thrusting, it just the game doesn't like to register it. Wait, what if Tears of the Kingdom brought this back? Like the whole time shift stone thing. That would be cool. I would like this. It makes for, it, it makes for really cool puzzles like this. I think this is the strongest point of the game here. Just the time shift stone mechanic. Can that open? Thank you. A report, Master. The power of the time shift door appears to have caused a change in the structure. I recommend going outside to further assess. <laughs> Thank you, Phi. What would I do without you? Hey, Tater Bear, welcome in. We're just doing a bit of a Skyward Sword. And I'm on my way to finding another piece of the puzzle. I have information to report. There's a probability that these sit net mass and these sails are from the ship that protects Nehru's flame. You can now set your dousing ability to ship to search for the ship that holds Nehru's flame. Wait, but there's a cube here somewhere. That's how you get it. Hope your one day is going good. There we go. I'm sure anyone hasn't followed Tater Bear already. They're pretty cozy and chill streamer, and they're playing Tokyo Ghostwire right now. If you like Japanese folklore and the creatures that are often associated with it, it's a pretty good game to just like chill out too. So my ship wasn't there either. Hmm. This is sweet. Wait, you found a clue? You know the place? Some kind of thing called Dowsing? That's amazing. This time we'll definitely find my ship. Ready to set sail? Yes. Having a good day. Did work from home today, so chiller than usual. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. We're actually making great time with this. I think we'll be able to do this dungeon too. I, I've been charting out how I'm going to do with every single um part of this game, like in, in chapter sections. Just so I finish it right before Tears of the Kingdom next week. But uh I'm actually making great time. I think I might be able to do a bit more here. Huh, how are we gonna search for this whole huge sea? I have no choice but to ask you to do it for me. So get cracking. There's a high probability that the ship is currently hidden from our view, but if we attack it then we might catch a glimpse of it. Hmm, seems to be over there. Yep. Yeah. 
Okay, first I gotta get out of here, and then I can... Wait, can I go through here? No. And right now we are wandering a desert, but this little guy has a certain stone that lets him exist in a different state of time. So even though it's all desert for me, for him it's still a ship, or, or the sea. Okay, it seems to be going this way. Here! Oh wow, we were right next to it. Did you see it? That's my ship. We must pursue, and keep pounding it with the cannon. Thank you for saying pounding it with the cannon. We can't let it, we can't let people get the wrong idea. There you are. Huh, they must have slowed it down here. I remember in the Wii version, it took a while to chase it. Oh, we found the ship. Sand ship. Um, is there supposed to be game sound? Oh my god, did it do it again? Thrice, again? Why does it keep doing that? Are you here right now? This is the second time it's happened. I I don't know. I I don't understand why it does this. Because on OBS it shows up that the sound is playing. Like I can see it here, but for some reason, oh my gosh! Again, two, ugh, another two hours with just doing that. And I just assumed that it was fine. Oh, luckily, most of the soundtrack you've already heard. I thought there was sound when I came in. I'm gonna look into. I'm gonna look into that. Yeah, because this capture card has been working fine. But yeah, like, sound has been a weird, very weird issue lately with it. I, I'm gonna look into why it does that. I think before starting on Wednesday, before going live, I'm gonna set up everything as I usually do. But I'll just do like the start recording. Just like I can record a few seconds, and if I hear sound, then I know it's good. If it's not, then I then I can fix the settings. Yeah, I, I just, I have no idea why. I'm head out, I'm feeling exhausted and want to nap before I get back to some work later tonight. No, I feel it, even even I'm still kind of feeling a little drowsy. But thanks for popping in.
Okay. Take that. Can't go in there yet. I'm gonna need some bombs. Game, you can give me some bombs, please. Hmm. Luckily this one's not as confusing. It well, it's a pretty straightforward dungeon. Master, please look. This large door is sealed shut. The door must lead to an important room in the ship. Probably the flame. Alright, oh! That looks fine. Some of the crew. Oh. Okay. So I know this one. This is bottom, top, bottom, right. I think many people would also argue that the bottom is always right. We got a key. Oh, I'm low on health. That should be fine. Let's take a nice little sit. Terminator. I have a lot of jelly now. I could probably sell it for a fortune. I'll hit the night market as soon as I'm done here. Those crits should give me some. Hmm, they were symbols right there.
Oh, we're at the bow of the ship. Uh oh. This must be the pirate captain. game this is. It's all about getting him. Do I salute him? I mean, I'll give him props. He lasted like through centuries. Master, that synthetic life form. There was a 99% chance that it was a pirate described by the captain. I can't help but admire the tenacity it has displayed in staying alive and functional all these years. Yeah, right. I mean, obviously he took he took over the ship for the flame, but like. Look at the bow! Careful, the elasticity can propel arrows, strike your targets, yes, yes. You can also shoot arrows to strike certain devices. We'll just hit. Something I learned from a person who did a walkthrough. Time for stone, yes. That one thing I didn't know was that I was waiting for the thing to charge, but if you do... Wait. Hmm. Unless they got rid of it in this one? But if you were to use your nunchuck and then you were to do that, it would automatically... Wait. Wait, what am I doing? I wonder if I can do this, actually. Hold on. <laughs> I have the materials required to upgrade it. And this is one of those things where it's vital. Oh. 
Pelgo, my friend, I need your help. Hey! <laughs> Iron bow. Okay! <laughs> Enhance attack power, and can launch it arrows farther. Okay. <laughs> now with a sacred bow, you use the sacred power of the goddess to bring a terrible force upon your enemies. To anything you have yours you want me to. Here, just hold on to this for a quick second. What is this? A small quiver. I can upgrade this. Oh, I need three monster horns. Oh, I can exit the dungeon and... It's perfect, I like that. And there we go. Fully upgraded bow. Is it that? Taking care of, uh, the gremlins. Do you have them?
Mouse controls hits. Okay. Can I grab? Can I grab? There we go. Okay, we can skip this. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need access to this. Lung, good job! Hey, he's up here. Now the ship looks just like it used to. That makes me so happy. Oh, and it's, it's a wide enough range that he can move from a ship. Now I just need you to rescue my crew. I'm pretty sure they're being held in the brig inside the ship. Oh yeah, I was there. I saw them. It's still pretty dangerous here, so I'll wait in the boat. You can do it. Hmm. What is over there? That was there the whole time? Renew. I never knew this was here. Oh, no, I think I did. Yeah, I think I always remembered seeing a chest, but I didn't know how to access it. a rupee. Sure. I was trying to draw a rupee, but the angle that I'm sitting at doesn't really allow me to make a distinctive shape. Okay. And this will be for later. This is a shortcut for later. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna need some more. Actually. I need the key for that anyways. Now I'll go and upgrade this real quick. And I think the reason... We're making great time is just because I. The previous dungeon is easy to navigate once you know where to go. And with all these, I'm not like really dilly dallying or anything like that, so. I think we can get the last trial. Hmm. I just want to see. Nah, it's not worth it. I mean, it's only like five each time. If it was, if it doubled it completely, like if it went from ten to twenty, sure. <laughs> I 
I'm over here trying to save up for the... I'm trying to save up for the last adventure pouch that Beetle has for 1,200 rupees because... Wait. Okay, we did good. And there's a bunch of gratitude crystal quests too, which I might do. Well, I'll probably do them off stream. It's just helping out people and... I think we already looked at the fun ones. Okay. right now that we've done this we can access the ship doors And if the ship was on, that would be rotating and we wouldn't be able to access. Now chat question, um, just kind of a random question, has anyone here seen Monsters, Inc? Just something I happen to remember. There's a little bit of a green little fella named Mike, and he's got a lovely, lovely girlfriend named Celia? Yeah. Hmm, can I use this? I can't. Hyperventilating. Poor kid. I just remember that film and. I wonder what their children would look like. Because I mean, Mike is the green devil looking thing and Celia is a Medusa type species. What would a cross like that look like?
All right, I did something. I'm detecting very strong vibrations. Signs indicate that activating this mechanism has caused something within the ship to begin moving. The current situation is difficult to accurately assess, but I suggest hurrying to the crew in the brig and freeing them first. Listen, we're doing that. I'm just setting up everything for... Okay, back in the hallway, take the second door on the left. Have I been here already? And that's why we did that for a little earlier. To save ourselves some time. Hmm, how are we gonna get up there, I wonder? Camera, camera. Luckily that works without, you know, the time shift zone. Okay, now we can access that. Ugh. And now, once more. What's feeling? I think if they didn't lock you into a cutscene every single time, it would flow a little bit better. Because like, I, mean, I, I know what's happening, I don't need to... Like, see it every single time. Strong vibrations again. The current situation, okay, yeah, yeah. Fine, listen, you're great. You're doing wonderful. But trust me, I have a process. I know what I'm doing. Also, I know that the doors are, you know, human size in terms of uh, their height and all that, but these are small little robot fellas. Hmm. 
What is over there, I wonder? Okay, hold on. Ah, yes. Come to me. My treasure. Okay, pirate rules say that I can pillage. I think I've seen a shirt with this kind of pattern before. The crew! They're alive! You're a human, right? How did you get in here? Hmm? So you came with Skipper to rescue us? Ah, oh, you made us so happy. Really? You came on board to find Nehru's flame. If you want to remove, reveal Nehru's flame, you're gonna have to regain control of the ship. The control room is next to the brig, but its huge door is sealed shut and you'll need a key to open it. First, you should head to the captain's cabin. The control room key should be in there. Please take this key as thanks for rescuing us. This key will open the door to the captain's cabin. So you can get to the captain's cabin through a door on the deck in the back. Oh, yes. Yeah, but I'm getting out of here. Sorry to leave you on your own, but you look like you can handle it. We're counting on you. I got little wheels. Just you? Hmm. Huh, there should have been a way to access the time shift stone so I can just cross through here, but I can't. Very well. Oh, but now I can do this. Okay, it's in the back. Okay, I know where that is. This way's quicker. Oh, now we have all the items. I just realized. No, that's right, because it's right there, yeah. Hmm, I actually think, okay, 241. We're making great progress here. Hmm. I 
think I just might be able to... Oh, wait. Oops, forgot to use the time shift stone. Ah, you weren't using it. And just like that, you will cease to exist. I actually wonder what property Link- or what- what does Link possess that allows him to traverse both areas, because... Most would just, you know, cease to exist upon entering a space where a time shift stone existed. And yet... And yet he can do it. Could be the time shift stone. I mean nothing. The goddess sword. As Link is now the goddess's chosen hero. Because she would imbue it with such properties that, you know... He wouldn't lose himself. Alright, I gotta tussle with these guys. Oh, well, I had to do that one anyways. Aren't you realizing there's no compass in this game? Squid carving. Okay, we're done here. I mean, I'll, I'll keep taking them. quicker. Like half the time. Just taking a breather. Which I should be actually. Or I, I should be like taking a second to like stretch and all that.
It's like a little, like a little. Okay. Oh, I see an eyeball here. Ursula, is that you? Actually, it kind of looks like the Twitch logo, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, kinda. Oh, finally. Oh, oh no, what's happening? What the heck? Oh my goodness, what happened here? Oh god, the ship's capsizing. A report master, judging by their size, these tentacles belong to a monster of considerable size. I, I kind of got that too. The current situation is difficult to determine it with complete accuracy, but signs indicate that the ship is under attack. Sure, if we do nothing, there's an 80% chance the ship will capsize. Now? Oh Jesus. We're taking on water from the past. Forget the flame, we gotta get out of here. No, that it really is Titanic. It was prophetic, they knew the whole time. Warning, Master. Warning what? I sense an evil presence on the other side of this door. There's a 90% chance that it is a primary body mass of the creature whose tentacles are destroying the ship. Girl, we ain't got time, we gotta go. Well, this dungeon is completely destroyed. Luckily, I got everything I needed. Where did I tell you? Oh no, it's Mike and Celia's love child! Abyssal Leviathan, Tentalus. This boss design kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. Slice. All right, come on. The monster is ink reject. Oh, 
Oh, I got him. Nice. Like this isn't the it's not the time to be exhausted. Said he didn't get into the Monsters University movie. Despite that movie coming out, I think, before this. Game, I'm trying to do a Skyward Strike, and you. Got it. play this game I thought I only could hit it with a bow with a bow so this part took a long time because I just kept charging up shots and like hitting them of course I realized you could hit them with your sword but I had the fully upgraded bow so he gives it from his mom Celia Goodbye, underwhelming boss. You know, good as a mini boss, I think. As a dungeon boss, uh, not so much. I think it lacks a lot of uh, design depth. Well, six of the ship is dead. Well, technically, I guess this happened in the past. <laughs> Huh? 
Hmm. I guess it did. But, well, it didn't happen in the past because the ship was in good condition before we got on it. But the time shift stone brings it back to its former self in the past, and this was destroyed, so... Was it always destroyed, or...? Yeah, I have no idea. Okay, bye! Oh, there she is. We know what to do here. Alright, flame two of three. The flames of the neighbor who have transformed your blade, expanding Fi's power. She can now help you douse multiple things. Well, we don't really need that. I mean, sure, but we don't really... We, we don't really... Okay, so it changed color. Hmm. I mean, the last one got longer. This one just made the hilt... Lighter? Like a washed-out green? Second one. Interesting. With your sword in hands, you can learn a new melody. I recommend we return to the aisle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what's gonna happen to the ship, though? It's like destroyed. <sighs> Thank you for getting me my ship back. It may have been half wrecked. The half wrecked, dude. Did you see like the pieces floating around? My crew and I got a shape. Up to almost proper working order in no time. I wish you luck in finding whoever it is you're looking for. Come visit again, you're welcome anytime. Thank you. <laughs> I'll come back to this stuff off stream for the other cubes. And right now we're making great time, so. I think I know what I want to do before, or before I'm done for this stream. We go back to the aisle, learn the other song. Hopefully, we see that bird again. And I glitch out. That you no, know, we'll glitch out. I can do the final trial. Get the final gift. And then that way we can see where the gift takes us, and then it'll be a little bit more before we go to the other dungeon. Yeah, actually, I thought it would have taken longer in the in the ancient cistern dungeon, and then getting my way to the to Lanayru Zansi, but no, we, I, I did that like almost in half an hour, I think. Oh. Things are getting aggressive. Oh, I see there's a chest right there. But that oh, there's two. Just money. Doesn't really. I've collected a few of these already on stream, so. Okay, 957, just 243 more rupees. Scar would strike for Scar's little quicker. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Any other side quests that are important? Nah, not really. Oh! This one's under us now. Forget about that. 
Yes, 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 deep in the memory. I will translate it for you. Start with your interpreter dance again. The last of the sacred flames still eludes you. To obtain it, you must claim another sacred gift. You will be blessed with another gift? Yeah, yes. Make use of the power of these gifts. Okay, yeah. It awaits you upon Nelden Volcano. Has an ice skater ever done a routine with spy it's choreography? I'm gonna doubt you can, you know, explode into light. Wait, hold on. Let's, let's see if the bird's glitching again. No, no, look, see, there he is! You see? He's frozen! <laughs> that one, too! Oh, wait, no, that one's flying. But the other two, they were just like. Oh god, it's spreading. Earlier it was one of them that was stuck in time, now it's two of them. Oh god, birds are getting Rick and Mortis. Are they gonna be okay? Then again, we don't see Lothlings in any of the other Zelda games, so... There must be something that made them sick. My bird is fine, and he's not afflicted with uh, flying through the air, petrified with fear. We're good. All right, 304. Yeah, I think that's a good enough time. Uh... Oh gosh. Yeah, head into the volcano, grabbing the last trial. Cause that one's a. It's not hard. It's just. Elden Volcano is a pretty big place, so they're just scattered. I can grab the last gift. Save there. Actually, okay, now that I think about it, hopefully Zelda Dungeon is back up. I was checking the chapters earlier, but I think we've made plenty of time. Like, I think I might be able to... I may have made enough progress to pick this up again on Friday. Actually, I don't know. Okay, because if I do that Friday... Oh, come on! That's probably what happened to the other birds, too. They got caught in a tornado and they became, like, frozen. I know where this one is. Normally you're supposed to land somewhere and then just kind of use your sword and poke around. It's not here? Oh, so, wait, is it down there? Wait, it was down there? I could have sworn it was up there. I mean, I meant to do this, haha. -ha. Okay, though, the water thing isn't until later. Oh, 
Huh. Really? Down there? I thought it was up here. Oh, it was here. Huh, I could have sworn it was up there. All right. Check if Zelda Dungeon is back up. I don't think so. Oh no, it is. <laughs> yes, yes. We've been through this before, girl. Okay, so we did something with Lennon, okay. Friday. Okay, I think we're good actually. No, actually, we're on track actually. Yes, we're on track. Because I was able to get through a ton today. So I can do something else on Wednesdays, so but it's just not like, you know. God, look at how horrifying it is. Not it! There's one right there. No, oh, if I if I remain here, the time doesn't go down. Oh, you don't. Oh dang, I forgot to do the thing again. Ooh, that's one right there. Take one of these. Hmm, there's no bombs. Well, I believe that's it. Hmm. There has to be another way in, but I don't see it. Oh, there's one right there. Oh no. No, I didn't mean to. Christ. Hey. I was looking for me too. Okay. I looked. There's some up there. Actually, uh oh, already. There he goes.
actually, yeah, I think the... Uh-oh, waking water. Okay, so... There's one down there, and one there. No! Actually, no, it's fine, actually. I can run. As long as I don't touch the waking water, I'm fine. What's up? I don't, I don't need these treasures, but... Go with the enemy. Okay, five more. And it sucks if they hit you once, you gotta start all over. Okay. I'm gonna save this one actually. In case I accidentally get seen by one of them, I wanna have that one as a backup. I'll have to make my way back up anyway, so. As long as I plan out my route. Yeah, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. They really could have taken out five of these and it would have been a nice even 10. Personally, I've always enjoyed these little challenges, but I know, like, repeating some of these over and over for some people would feel a little too, too repetitive and feel like padding, but I also would have been good with having some of these. Like, you have one that's collecting tears. You have another one that's like puzzle based or one that's like, you know, stamina based, like Ca camera, you all right? Okay, there's two more. And as long as I don't miss one, or as long as I don't run out of time, or run into one of those little, little buggers, they will never know I'm here. Well, they already know I'm here. They snitched. I was stuck on the edge. Don't want that. Sure.
All right, one more fruit. Eight six six. We got fire shield earrings. With these, you can stand any heat without a sweat. This is one of the three sacred gifts. They gave me the gift of fashion. Which uh. Not too bad. Also, no, he has them on now. Welcome back. Okay, let's. We can at least go to where. So, yeah, here, if we spend too much time in here, we would catch on fire. You know, they got fashion. Now that there's fashion. We can survive. I have a status update for you, Master. We are now near the crater at the peak of Elden Volcano. I'm trying to remember what else we can do here. I am detecting extremely high temperatures in this area. However, your fire shield earrings will allow extended periods of exploration. I calculate the probability of finding the final sacred flame here is 90%. I recommend searching for the flames. Okay. I'm gonna need two bottles, so... That's not till later, actually. Don't ask me how I know, because my answer will be I played this game before. That's for later, which is totally fine. Ignoring you, ignoring you. Okay, there should be some water out here. Yes, there is. I think there's a goddess cube around here. I believe there is. But we're gonna... I'm gonna skip that. Okay, there's a goddess cube. Okay. There's a little thing up there, too? Okay, well... Yeah, goddess cube down there. I can get that later. Oh, hey, we meet again. Have you been, bud? I rumbled over here because I heard someone had spotted some goddess cubes in the area. Yeah, there's one over there. Oh, I've got a hunch that maybe down in that direction, but this flaming wall of fire is blocking the way. We call that a pride parade, sir? I wish there was something we could do about to put out these flames. And now she lets me detect, detect goddess cubes. This is what we need this for. This little frog, you thirsty? You want some water? Yeah, beg for it. Beg for me to give you the water. You know you want it. Hey, the flames are out. Now we can get through here. I like this Goron. He's got personality.
Oh, it's like Austin Stone. What is your wisdom? No, oh, Brenthoff. Thank, thank you for the follow. Hopefully you're enjoying your Monday and having a good chill time. Okay. He is Tuesday too. Oh, wow. Not to, uh, oh, sorry, my, my niece was in here asking for something. UK base. <laughs> Do you see this book? Talk about intriguing. We are definitely off the map here. This does not feel like the Goddess Cube stuff to me. I bet there's something super important hidden around here. Yep. All I can say is that's a big frog with a big thirst. I don't think the amount of water in one of your little bottles can hold is going to cut it this time. Hmm, you'll have to have a big container to hold the water needed for the job. Got anything like that? And speaking of which, where are you going to get the wa all that water? I gotta say, I'm pretty much stumped. Hmm. Hey, there's somebody up there. What are you doing? I think there's another cube. Okay, let's make sure to save the right one. I don't need to, uh... Okay, yeah, we're gonna need a big basin. Luckily, I know where that is. Although, I would like to just grab it and then bring it over. However, Fate has other plans in terms of how to get that going through here, so that's gonna take a good bit of time. But with that, I think it's a good stopping point. Three and a half hours is good enough for me. Actually, with the amount of stuff that we've done, we're going to go raid Wolfie, because he's playing Breath of the Wild, and he's also counting down the days. And he got a new Switch, too. I'm kind of jealous, because it's the fancy tri Triforce one. I think I have the money for it, but this one's working fine. Only if this one breaks down, then I'll get another one. But... Yeah, after this, this is the last dungeon where we will find the flame, and then we're going to get some new developments, and yeah, we'll be able to do this in on Friday. Yeah, Steven Link's a little exhausted. And then Wednesday I can do something else that's not just like cumbersome of entire Zelda stuff, but thank you all for joining me. Thank you for the follow, Brad Hawk. I appreciate it. Normally, I was I do have a giveaway planned for when Tears of the King comes out. I said it's the end of the month, but since you're on the first... I'll make an exception for you. Like, that's close enough. You're good. Yeah, I will be back Wednesday with something else. Uh, I'll figure it out. Oh, no worries. I mean, you're also, like, at 2.30 in the morning, so I imagine you're going to fall asleep at some point, so... Get some rest. And we'll see you all Wednesday, and then... By next Monday, we should have this finished and all that fun stuff. And let me see, what, what can I leave you off with? Oh, I can leave you off with... Yeah.